Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 30, 60, 30 degree, three point saddle bend. And I'm going to compare and contrast it to a 22 and a half, 45, and 22 and a half degree, three point saddle bend. Now the big difference between these is this one's a much more gentle bend. The total of the 22 and a half, 45, and 22 and a half comes out to just 90 degrees. So it's going to be easier to run wires through a conduit with this kind of three-point saddle bend. This three-point saddle bend with a 30-60-30 is going to be 120 degrees total. So it's going to be a little more difficult to run your wires through this kind of three-point saddle bend. The advantage to this kind of three-point saddle bend is you get more straight pipe. If you need more straight pipe, this might be a good choice for you. Now here's another uh, difference right here. See this three point saddle band, 22, 45, 22. Shrink is 3 16ths of an inch per inch of obstruction. So we have a three and a half inch obstruction and we want to clear that by half inch. So we're jumping up four inches to get over this obstruction. So at 3 16 times four, that comes out to three quarters of an inch. So you have three quarters of an inch of shrink right here. So this mark happens to be 36 inches to right here. But, but when you make your center mark, you've got to add on to three quarters of an inch. So you put your first center mark at 36 and three quarters. This one here, it says shrink is quarter inch per inch. So it would be for four inches, that would be one inch. So this is 36 inches from our starting point, and you have to add on an inch. This mark is actually at 37 inches. This mark is actually at 36 and three quarters. Uh, both of these, I cut the pipe before I made the bends. And this one, because there's three quarters of an inch of shrinkage on each one of these bends, that's it inch and a half of shrinkage so this is 70 inches right here as the crow flies i cut the pipe at 71 and a half and it came out perfectly this conduit i cut at 72 inches because there's a total of two inches of shrinkage and it came out perfectly as well so there's an extra half inch of shrinkage on the total pipe for the 30 60 30. I know that's an area of confusion sometimes in that there's three quarters of an inch of shrinkage on this side right here and that's what we use to get our center mark and there's one inch of shrinkage on this side and that's what we use to get our center mark but there's a total of one and a half inch shrinkage when you figure in both sides of both angles and on this one there's a total of two inches of shrinkage when you count in both sides of the angle. And another difference is that the outer marks on the 22, 45, 22 are two and a half inches per inch of obstruction. So we go from here to here is 10 inches because this is four inches times two and a half inches. It's 10 inches from this mark to this mark. And this down here is two inches per inch of obstruction with four inch with a four inch obstruction you go from here to here eight inches so that's a, a big difference between the 30 60 30 and the 22 45 22 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this conduit down and I'm going to bend up another one so I can show you how to do it I've cut a piece of EMT conduit to exactly 72 inches and that will take care of the 70 inches from here to here. And it also compensates for the two inches needed for the three point saddle bend. Here's a picture of a Klein EMT bender and they are discussing where to put the conduit on the bender to make the middle bend of a three point saddle bend. And it says place the bender on the conduit and position the appropriate center of bend rim notch on the center mark in the orientation shown. Here's the 45 degree 
rim notch and a lot of benders only show that one. That's for the middle bend of a 22, 45, 22, three point saddle bend. Now to the left of the 45 is the 60 degree rim notch. And that's for the middle bend of a 30, 60, 30, three point saddle bend. And that's what we're going to be using. But my bender doesn't have that mark. It goes right between the 45 degree notch and the star. So I'll just make a mark on my bender. I have made three marks on my conduit. This is the middle mark. This is at 37 inches. That's 36 inches plus an inch for shrinkage. And over here is a mark eight inches from the middle mark. It's an outer mark. And this is eight inches from the middle mark. That's the other outer mark. Okay, this is your factory rim notch right here. That's for a 22 and a half, 45, 22 and a half degree three point saddle bend right there. Your rim notch for a 60 degree bend, that'd be for a 30, 60, 30 three point saddle bend goes right here. It's halfway between the factory rim notch for a 22, 45, 22 and the star. It's, it's right there. That's, that's for a 60. So I have aligned my center mark with this rim notch right here. Um, you could actually cut in a, a notch here with a hacksaw or a bandsaw if you like. This is where the center mark goes right here. So now I'll go ahead and make my 30, 60, 30 three point saddle bend. Okay, you start with the center bend and I'm gonna put my boot on the handle of the bender and we're going to go down here to 60 degrees right here. That's, that'll be our first bend. Okay, then you take the conduit, you spin it around And the next one's going to be on the arrow. So we align our arrow with the first outer mark, uh, back up and do a good job of aligning the conduit into the same plane. So we're right here on the arrow and this time we're going to go to 30 degrees right here. Okay, support the bottom of the handle with your boot. Okay, that's 30 degrees and you come out Give it another spin, put it in the bender, put your last outer mark on the arrow, rotate the conduit so it's in the same plane, get her nice and straight. Okay, that's nice and straight right there. So again, we're going to go to 30 degrees. Support the handle of your bender with your boot and go right down to 30 degrees, right there. Okay, there you are. Check it on the ground. Okay, so here's the conduit, and let's see how it fit. So we'll, we'll put it in this fitting right down here. That's looking good. And this one looks like it's fitting just right. This conduit looks like it came out just right. Uh, it'll go into this fitting this far, so our 72 inch length was just right. It's going to go up just like this. Our line is, is right in line with the center mark on the obstacle. So uh, I'm going to have to uh, move this over a little bit to get it in. We'll check our two inch spacing. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, here's where the bend starts, right here. It's in the fitting and it comes over and you can see uh, both of the three point saddle bends, the 22, 45, 22 and the 30, 60, 30 came out just right, right on the middle of the obstacle. You can see the outer bends uh, right here. This is the 30, 60, 30. It's about two inches shorter than the 22, 45, 22. So that's just right. And the same thing over here. So that came out really nice. Uh, here's the view from the top. And here's the view from the bottom. So 
Uh, that's, that's the difference between a 22-45-22 and a 30-60-30 three-point saddle band. Uh, they both have uh, one-hole straps on each side. And then you come over here. So this is real interesting. The 22-45-22 uh, had a 71 and a half inch conduit. I cut it before I did the bend. And the 30-60-30 had a 72 inch conduit. I cut it before I did the bends and they both came out just right. So the shrinkage, the calculated shrinkage amounts were just perfect. There you go. That's your two types of three point saddle bend. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein modular tool pouches. These have a 32 inch swing and they come right off. I'll put a link for the DeWalt Crossline five spot green laser level. I'll put a link for the new Milwaukee bandsaw. I'll put a link for the Klein lighted level. I'll put links for ideal benders, which I think are the best. And I'll put a link for a playlist, a Sparky Channel playlist called EMT Bending by Sparky Channel. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.